how to work effectively from home and produce outstanding results. In this present century, working from home is, is a trend. There's a lot of people who are already working from home. But when I'm shooting this video, there is a corona outbreak which causes and created a social distancing rules by the government so people are forced to work from home by regulation. So today I'm going to give you seven tips which going to significantly can improve your 7x productivity from working from home. And then I'm going to give you one extra bonus tips as well to how to work proactively, productively, effectively, efficiently, and create outstanding result. So let's get started. The tip number one, sleep and wake up on a specific time. Set up a time when you every night to go to bed let's say around 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock and then you wake up 7 o'clock, 7.30 o'clock or 6.30 o'clock, fix that time. Because when you're working from home, it's always try to make it make you feel like, like a weekend where you would like to get relaxed, but get to get out of the box and maybe you end up watching movie late nights so or maybe you're spending longer time in the bed, not setting up the alarm clock in the morning. This is something you don't want to make it happen. You want to set up the alarm clocks to wake up on time and then you also want to go to bed on time too. When you're spending all day at home, it sometimes could create an issue to sleep well too. So my tips is go to bed, grab a book and try to read. Do not just read phone, but read, get a physical books or read. Or you can watch audio, you can watch, watch listen music by your earpod that could be make you feel sleepy as well too. You will find some great meditation type music tones which can help you to sleep as well too. You can play on your music player or even you can play on your phone and that can help you to fall asleep too. So that was the tip number one. Go to bed and woke up on a specific time. Do not just being rushed with your schedule. So now tip number two. Give yourself a time in the morning. Think about a day when you wake up and go to work. There is some set of things you do. You prepare yourself, you, you make up yourself, or you, you as a man, you, you, you take a shower sometime, you take a, a brush yourself, you suit up, you dressed up, you wear your shoes, and or you take your breakfast, or you go to office and take your breakfast, grab your coffee. So all these things actually set you up, tune you up for the day. So when you're working from home, you got to do that thing as well too. Wake up on time, have your brush. If you are like to shave every day, do your shavings, take your showers. That could be very helpful as well though. That can give you a fresh feeling. And then grab your coffee. Have your coffee, have your water as well too, like you do. So if you, a person like me, who is a coffee addict, I like to have coffee every two day, every, every day, two times minimum. So if you are like me, grab your morning coffee, grab your afternoon coffee. That will keep you up and keep you stay tuned and stay up to the speed and create great works and, and, and being very productive as well too. So give yourself time, get yourself ready for the day and then you start producing great results too. So that, that was tip number two. I'm going to talk about tip number three. Plan your day ahead. What you want to do today or tomorrow is the best thing if you could prepare it today for tomorrow. You make a list of the things you want to do tomorrow, put it on a list, put it in your notes, or you can just write down in a paper and then put it on next to your computer or put it on a computer and then you next day you can just get it done. If you already you're using some kind of tool like Google Calendar, that could be a great way to, you can also plan your whole day in that thing. So plan your day, because when you are working on an office, you always have a lot of meeting and you schedule, you manage your schedule. The same time when you are working from home, manage your schedule. And you can of course have all the meetings of your work as well too, because with the sort of different, different kind of tools, like the Zoom or Google Hangout or Google Meet, that can help you great call or even you can use Microsoft Team. I'm sure that your company has any one of them or actually most of the t these tools are quite free as well too, so you can use it by yourself and super easy to use. So, now tip number four, that is very important. Location, location, location. Now me I said, oh, hang on, why location? Am I working from home, right? So I'm, I'm working online. 
Why location is matter? But yes, absolutely location is matter because is that's the way you're gonna work. So that means specify a place where you can work and you can stay focused. You can use your couch or you, you can use a dining table and you constantly work regularly in that one. You can make like a, if that place designated for your work, you can put your laptop, put your adapter, co connect it with, with the powers and put it there. And, and the notes you're taking, put it on next to it in, in that one and use that one too. So that will what can give you a sense of work that, hey, this is my place. I like to do this work and that's the place for me to do getting things done. And you will be walking there and you keep getting in science and make you stay focused. The tips, uh, the, the, the one thing is here which you should not do, do not work at, at, at from the bed. Because when you're working from the bed, you are definitely not gonna stay in focus and you probably get feel some drowsy and you take some rolling out and suddenly you grab a phone and then you completely distract it and you spend a lot of time and you go out of your schedule and that's the thing you don't wanna be. So avoid working from the bed. Getting a, a sofa or, or a table or if you're dining table, these are a great place to work from home. So now I'm gonna tell you the tip number five which is also a very important one to as well. When you go to work, you have a specific time to take breakfast, you take your lunch on time, then you take your dinner on time too. When you're working from home, you need to get things done, right? You are working, right? So you need the energy, you need the nutrition as well too. And that's why it's so crucial for you to get the breakfast, get the lunch, get the dinner on time. Do not skip any of the meals. Get them all on time with the right diets and do not take a lot of carbohydrates as well too. So try to cut down a bit of carbohydrate and sugar food and then take more vegetables, fruits. Make sure that you have, you're maintaining a good diet and good nutrition as well too. That will keep you healthy and keep you productive when you're working from home. So now I'm gonna give you the tip number six. It's a very, 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 very important one as well. So if you're staying in an apartment, that's perfect for you. Go to the window two times or three times per day and look far. So that will give you a vision exercise for you and it can give you a lot of ear uh, and, and, and feeling and also vision to look far that will make you feel better, make your inside better, make you feel psychology better too. So that's very important that you actually do that. So if you're living in an apartment, that's great. If you're living in a house, go to the window and if you can look far. But if you're not, cannot do that. Let's say you are in a house and you don't have such a window like this, then you can actually come in front of the house and look outside for a few times, not meeting people, but look outside and that will make you, so you can look look farther. So because your vision needs a, a distance look as well too, because when you are in, in, in working from home, all day you are in your house or your apartment and you are like you were like in a box, that's not good for your soul or, or psychology and also your vision too. So you want to give it a, a chance to look, go, go look farther. So that will could be a nice break for you as well too. But like I say, it's a break, right? So maximum five minutes and then you can get back to work, all right? So tip number seven. This is also very specifically for your eye because eye is the window of our soul. So it's so much important that we take care of your eye. So keep your eye dry. So for doing this one is a very easy tip is you get some kind of, uh, of artificial eye drops. Those are all over the counter drugs, OTC drugs. You don't need any specific, any kind of a prescription. You can go to the pharmacy and you can say that I want to keep my eye dry. So Tear Natural 2 or Refresh Plus. So those are great drops for that are not expensive, but that could be very good helpful for you to keep up. But those are like, again, I tell you, those are only artificial drops. Those are not antibiotic drops. Do not use any, any kind of any, any other drops. Only Tear Natural drops, these kinds of artificial uh, eye drops. Um, so now, now we'll tell you the bonus, right? So these are the seven things. If you execute already, then you can already 7x your productivity. But I'm going to give you one more bonus. So that's like a hack for you, right? So due to corona or epidemic, there's a lot of people dying over the world. There's a lot of people getting affected. There's a lot of people getting losing the job. Some people getting losing the contract, losing the businesses too. So that is the all constant news are coming to the TV and newspapers. So those are, what is this? This is all constant negativity. But if you're all day watching TV and consuming all this negative information and negative news, those that have a really big imp negative impact in your, in, your, in, your, in your brain, your mindset, and more importantly, your subconscious mindset, it will make you more negative 
negative person as well too and you don't want to do that you want to stay healthy right you want to get things done you want to be get productive done so focus on your work focus on your health you want to get some information that's fine watch a little bit in the morning watch uh, and, and watch a little bit in the evening just to see what's going on what is the next what what can impact you and how you can tackle those those impact so there is a lot of people who are getting extra weights during this corner time getting lazy spending more time on the couches getting more beers but there is another way of doing this one too. This is the time you can use to get ready for going out to make the best out of this world in the business, career, and development uh, right after the, this corona get fixed. So you can prepare for that one too. So that's why it's so much important during the corona, you stay productive, stay efficiently, and stay focused and stay healthy. All right? So those are my seven tips with the bonus. Go ahead and execute today and you will see you have a great difference in your productivity working from home. All the best.